Hello, you absolute legends. My name is Don Cavanaugh, and I want to talk about the lab practical measuring the volume of a coin. This is the formula for measuring the volume of a coin or a cylinder. Volume equals pi r squared times h, the height. Uh, what I want to talk first about is reading a ruler and then writing the unit of the scaffold right here. For the lab practical, you'll have a coin. For this video here, I'm just going to use this roll of tape just because it's larger. It might be kind of easier, hopefully, to see here. So reading this instrument, we're going to read this in millimeters, our final answer in millimeters cubed. So we see that there is 10 millimeters, 11, 12, 20 millimeters, 30 millimeters. Now those are all whole numbers, and each line indicates a whole number to the ones digit. On, instrument, on analog instruments, you need to predict one decimal deeper than what is displayed on the instrument. So we can display in millimeters to the tenth place. So all of your measurements will have a tenth place unit in there. If it is right on the line, then we give it a zero to tell the reader that it was to such amount of accuracy. Trying to line this up here, trying to make sure I got that at the bottom, and then I'm also trying to wave my ruler around a little bit precisely to make sure I got it on the thickest point. So, looking at this right here, we have it right on the bottom and right on the top. And it looks to me like it is dead on the line there. So I'm going to call this maybe a smidgen above. I want to say it's 55.1 millimeters. It is just a smidgen above. So the diameter, 55.1 millimeters. Now we need the radius ultimately. So we're going to take that number and divide it by two. Please follow along because this ones digit is the most, the deepest we can dig based on the instrument. Get this back in focus, okay? We cannot have an answer deeper than the ones than the tenth digit because of our instrument, an analog instrument here. So our final answer for the radius is 27.6 millimeters. Okay? 26.27.0 0.55 would be too many decimal places. So we have to round this to the nearest one. So this is our radius right here. The height of this thing here, the height of this coin, shall we say. I have this lined up at the bottom, trying to do it with my eye in the camera. And I have it lined up at the top. Lining it up with my eye here, so I hope it's in view right here. This looks like it is about 12.4 millimeters. 12.4, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, 12.4 millimeters. So this has a height of 12.4 millimeters. Reading the ruler right here to one decimal place. Even if we have to do some math, we still have to round to the nearest tenths place. Now, part two is putting this in a scaffold here. Or the second thing you're going to be graded on. 3.14, that's pi. The radius is 27.6 millimeters. Squared, 27.6 millimeters. The height is 12.4 millimeters. No units cancel out, and that's fine because we want our final answer in a volume, millimeters cubed. Hope this helps. Thank you.